Hello, and welcome to the new A's tutorial. Today, I'll be teaching you how to do synthetic division, which is a little strange and a little bit more wacky than the typical division. So, first what you're going to want to do is take a look at your division problem. We have two polynomials here. The problem is n squared minus n minus 29 divided by n minus 6. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to first find the coefficient of all the numbers in the first polynomial. So here's how you're going to do it. The coefficient is the number that comes before the exponent. So, since there's nothing there, that's what we kind of like to call a phantom 1. So, what we're going to do is we're going to write a 1. Great. Then, we're going to want to write a negative 1, because as you can see, it is minus n. Therefore, making it a negative number. And the last one is 29, so we can just leave that as it is, as negative 29, since we are subtracting the 29 from our polynomial. Next, what you're going to want to do is draw a little bit of an upside-down division sign. You know, the normal one looks a little bit like that, but this one's upside down. This is where things start to get funky. Pay attention. So, we have this other polynomial over here, the second polynomial. Where does that come into play? Well, it's a lot like football in a way. You see, the polynomial doesn't come in until later, like most football players. So, what you're going to want to do before you start, you don't put the polynomial here. No, that's bad. First, you're going to want to find a way to make this polynomial right here equal 0. So, n minus 6 equals 0. Hmm, let's see here. What could we add to this to make the equation equal 0? That's it! n equals 6, because 6 minus 6 is 0. Great. Now, after you do that, let me just get rid of that, uh, you know, more football plays here. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take the 6, right, and place it right there. Looking good so far. So first what you're going to want to do after all this is bring this little guy down right here. Beautiful arrow right there. So, now that you have your 1 here, you're going to want to multiply this. Multiply the 6 by the 1. And you're going to get yourself a little bit of a something like, you know, oh, I don't know, say 6. All right. So then, once you've done that, you're going to want to move this 6 right up here. Okay. Why? What? You got that wrong. I did? Yeah. Dang you move the 6 all the way down. Huh? Well, not the 6, the 1. The 1, you move it all the way down. It does have a multiplication spot. Dang it. You're going to have to start all over. No, I'll, I'll just start over and then you can cut the part where I... But then it'll look funny. You're right. It will. You're right. So, you're going to want to bring this one down right to about here. Right underneath the line of the divisor. And you're going to put one. Beautiful. Then you multiply six and one. Why? Don't ask me. This is wacky. So, you're going to multiply these and bring that number up here and place it above the division line. I know, like I said, wacky, right? So, we're going to put a 6 right there. Now, what do you do after that? Well, funny thing is, you take the 1 and the 6 and you add them together. But, we just multiplied them. Why, yes, we did. However, the rules are different in this game. So, you're going to have to add these together. It's going to give us 5. Don't forget these numbers. 1 and 5. Good, good. I wrote little sevens underneath them, I'm not sure why. So, there you go. Then you're going to want to multiply this number and this number. 6 times 5, you guessed it, 30. Now, 30 plus negative 29, as we all should know. Come on, kids, you're in high school. Negative 1. Great. That 1 is really short. Now it's a proper 1. Now, once you've done all that, you're almost done. These numbers right here, okay, so this number is your remainder. You know, that thing on long division that nobody really ever likes? Well, you're going to have to deal with it here. And this one is your constant, or the number without an exponent, so that would just be 5, right? And then this number right here would be your 1. I mean... Dang it, I got it. <laughs> what is it called? It's just called x. Right, okay. And this number right here is your x. Great. So, once you have all that, you just have to put these numbers together. So, it's not negative 1, it's 1. I was wrong. Caught me there. So anyways, 
Once you have all these together, you're going to want to write down this right here. So this has your first x or exponent, which in this case is n. You remember this bugger? Remember him. All right, so since it's just one, we don't have to write the one. We just put n. Great. After that, plus 5, because as you can see, this is clearly not a negative 5. It is a positive 5. Then after that, the remainder you have to write in a bit of a wonky fashion, but you're going to want to put 1 over the number, the, uh, the polynomial that you're dividing by. So you put n minus 6. 1 over n minus 6. Put the right parenthesis there, and you're done.